Hello, in this video, I'm going to share with you some basic Zoom settings to do one to one and group meetings using Zoom. So before I start this tutorial, uh, I would like you to go to dnaclub.in slash MSI. This is an automated webinar. I would like you to go to this automated webinar, opt in for it and just to understand how I am building my multiple income streams by building business online by use by, by using the power of some amazing, amazing tools. Okay, so go to this link and let's start this tutorial. So when you log into Zoom, okay, so right now for this demo purpose, I'm using a Zoom account, which is a free account. I'm not paying anything to Zoom. So using this free account, when you log in, so you will see, okay, you will see this uh, uh, layout. Okay, so if you want to create, if you want to schedule or host a new meeting, okay, I suggest you to uh, directly go to meetings. Okay, so when you go to meetings, then you will see this unique code, this unique meeting ID. So this will be a unique meeting ID, which you are going to get when you create a free account in Zoom. Okay. And uh, so this is your personal meeting ID. Now, if you want to host a one to one meeting, so what you can do, you can just click here, show meeting invitation. And then this is the link which you can share with the participant or the other person. If that person clicks on this link, then that person can join the meeting with you. If you want to start a meeting, just click on this start button and the meeting will be started. If you want to uh, schedule a meeting for uh, later, okay, I mean, if you if you want to schedule a meeting for some future date, in that case, you can click here, okay, click on this plus button and you can schedule a meeting from here. Suppose if you have a team, suppose my team name is, suppose my group name is TLF group team meeting, I can uh, see, I can write the topic here like this. And then instead of choosing a particular date and time, if I want this meeting, same meeting ID to remain for all the meetings, in that case, I can choose recurrent meeting. Okay, so which means I don't want to schedule it for a particular date or time. I want to I want to set it as a recurrent meeting and uh, create meeting ID. Okay, yes, generate automatically and security code. I can put one, two, three, four, five. So which is easy to remember and then waiting room. Yes or no uh, host can open the video by default when meeting is meeting started. Yes or no. Okay, participant, yes or no. So this way, and then we can click on the save button. So once we click on the save button, this meeting is basically scheduled and it will automatically open zoom.us website. So it will open zoom website so that you can actually, uh, you can actually do some settings, some meeting settings uh, by directly going to zoom.us. And from there, if you want to make any changes, okay, uh, meeting level changes, then you can do the same by clicking here on sign in option. Okay, so yeah, sign in. So when you create a free zoom account, you just click sign in here. It is basically uh, some settings you will find directly on the zoom, uh, you can say uh, app, okay, zoom app. But at the same time, if you want to do more changes, then you can do it by signing in to zoom website okay so this is a free account i'm using right now i'm just signing in but by that time if you see if you open zoom okay zoom app so you will find the tlf group meeting it is automatically it has automatically created a meeting id here so if i if i directly want to start this meeting or if i want to give this meeting to my teammates i will just copy this link with the meeting id and passcode if anybody directly clicks on this link then also the person can join the meeting else you can share the meeting id and passcode okay but to enable some of the some of the features which if in case you are not finding then you can open zoom okay zoom.us website log in with your zoom account then go to meetings and from here you can do some meeting level changes so for example if you want to enable annotation uh, or you uh, you're not able to find a particular option okay in the uh, particular option when you actually start the meeting in that case you can actually enable those those things from by going to the settings option okay so let's forget about it let's not make it complex let's keep it very very simple so this is the way by clicking on the plus button you can actually create a new meeting okay and just click on start to start this meeting okay now for a demo purpose, now I am starting a meeting with a personal meeting ID. So just to start a meeting, just click on start. Okay. And this is the way Zoom app is going to uh, connect and then it is going to start a meeting. Okay. So right now here, uh, let me explain you all the options available here. 
so number one is mute and mute start video you can stop or uh, start your video and then there are some very good options these are the important options security if you click here security and you can lock the meeting lock the meeting means if i click here which means now nobody can join this meeting now suppose you want you have started a meeting and you want that after five minutes nobody else want nobody else can join the meeting all the late comers you cannot join the meeting now so you can click on the click on this option lock meeting which means now uh, late comers cannot join it okay so you can lock the meeting right and like this then we have option called enable waiting room so when anybody joins like say for example if i am joining this meeting through my uh, through my another device okay so i am trying to join this so you can see i am trying to join this meeting through my another device so i can see here uh, the option to admit this particular person okay so if i click on admit only then the other person can actually join this meeting okay so how this can be enabled by clicking on this button okay enable waiting room then hide profile pictures so you can see the profile photo of the participant here this is me and this is the participant so i can click here hide profile photos so profile photos will be hidden like this okay now share screen allow participants to share screen yes or no allow participant to chat yes or no now suppose during the meeting if you want to disable the chat so you can click here and you can click uh, you can actually uncheck this option so now the participants during the meeting cannot use the chat box okay so you can enable it then rename themselves so if you want the participant um, uh, to to have an option to rename themselves they can do it and if you uncheck this they cannot do it allow participant to unmute themselves so now this is an important option when you do some online meeting you will find some uh, somebody by mistake they unmute themselves and you find so much of noise so if you want uh, this control to uh, if, if you want this control like you can mute and unmute other people so you can just select this one unmute themselves even you can un uh, uncheck this one okay don't select this one so now people cannot unmute themselves okay only when you enable it they can unmute it okay so now people cannot unmute so when you are hosting a meeting and you don't want any disturbance you can uncheck this allow people to start their video yes or no and whiteboard so this is a new feature so let's forget about it this is not that much important so these are the important settings which you can check out okay now next these are the participants okay now in the participant area here if i want this person okay this is a person who has joined them this is the person who has joined the meeting now if i want this person if i want this if i want to make this person host i can select here and i can make this person as a host right now i am the host vikram khandelwal now next uh, is chat allow this person to chat allow this person to ask to start the video pin which means his video will be at the top and then rename so you can rename this person also okay like this you can rename this person all else you can put in the waiting room or uh, remove or maybe you can report okay so like this you can make this person host right now let's go ahead next is chat option so in the chat option uh, suppose you want to disable the chat you can disable the chat from here also by clicking here participant can chat with select no one so now uh, they cannot chat with anybody chat option will actually be disabled for them okay or else you can choose any of these option everyone which means they can uh, chat they can um, message and everybody can see their messages share screen so if i click here now here i what i can do i can actually share my entire desktop okay or if i want to write something uh, on the whiteboard i can select here a whiteboard and i can click on share sound if i want to uh, play the sound which is actually plays in the background now suppose if you want to play a music so what you can do uh, on youtube or maybe some uh, music app you can you can play a music in your laptop and then you can click here share sound so the computer audio will be actually played and also you can also use the whiteboard to write something on the screen okay and similarly all the open apps can you can see here and you can actually share a particular app also so just when you share the, the desktop entire desktop will be displayed but if you share a particular uh, app like google chrome so only that google chrome uh, software will be displayed on the screen okay and other things you cannot the other person cannot see other apps which were which have open in the background okay so these are the options now if you go to advance so you can only uh, here you can only uh, uh, actually share only the sound uh, yeah only the video so all these things are available here so basically the most widely used feature is to enable to share the desktop or to share a particular app okay 
and you can uncheck this box okay optimize for video clip just uncheck this so that uh, it gives very good quality okay so keep it unchecked when you share a particular screen and then click on share so this way you can share your screen or a particular software okay now let's go to the record so when, when you click on record it will actually record your uh, whatever meeting you are doing it it is actually record going to record the meeting in your and it is going to save in your computer hard disk okay now reactions so reactions like this so this is the new feature in zoom so during the meeting so people can react like this and then let's keep apps and whiteboard okay let's leave this because these are not much important i hope you understand so these are the way how you th these are the basic settings which you need to do when you are doing any one to one meeting or maybe a, a group meeting okay so if you have any kind of question related to zoom so you can uh, use the chat option or comment comment box below uh, use that and ask your questions and also do subscribe to the channel check out the links in the video description and also make sure that you go through this link that is dnaclub.in slash msi and do watch my uh, automated webinar okay see you in the next video thank you very much